Hello guys and welcome to Saint Centaur. We are now going to try and enter the city. And unfortunately we can't. What? I was pushed away. Sorry, we thought you guys were monsters. The town of Saint Centaur is protected by a dimensional protectional seal. The entire town wall is a charged barrier. It keeps the monsters out. Are you sure you guys aren't monsters? I wonder if I triggered the device. Why would you get caught in, this, in the device? The shield is very sophisticated. It will stop spirits as well as monsters. Is that a pet of yours? I'm not a damn pet. Jack and I are. Hatpen and I are partners. Can we come in? Then hold him deep inside your pocket and step through. That way, you won't trigger the device. That is, if you're not a monster. If you are, you'll be stopped again. Alright, so, now we know this place is like, um, I don't know, it's a fortress against demons. Let's head on in. Bam. And we're good to go. Alright, now, if you want to get um, some backstory or anything like that, go ahead and talk to everybody. They'll tell you, they'll basically they'll tell you that this place, they be still believe, no, wait, was it? Hmm. Actually, I can't remember exactly. Uh, yeah, they just talk about the the how how the town is protected by the Holy Guardian. Basically, um, this that guardian up there, the statue, the one of the guardians of the past. So, anyways, let's talk to this guy here. Hey, you! What are you doing here? A piece of the demon's queen's heart is sealed in this statue. Don't do anything stupid, or I'll arrest you. So basically, they they know exactly about the demon queen and everything. And yeah, so what you're gonna want to do first is look around. A town looking basically everything that's in this town all the free items are in barrels so yeah i'm gonna leave you guys to do that but i will sh yeah not no i'll just show you where the 1000 gala is you know you're gonna need the extra the extra gala because um then the next dungeon is actually pretty hard enemies there do fight do hit hard so anyways let's continue on first off what you're gonna want to do is if you haven't already done so get some new magic for yourself through the obviously the sorceress and everything get some new weapons no get some armor i recommend the armor first especially for cecilia you don't want her dying and um because that'll make her make things a lot harder for you all right so let's talk to her first okay so i'm gonna bind some black magic no the things you you're probably gonna want to get is most likely the shield down spell it should be around here somewhere here we go this one's shield down it will reduce the defense of basically an entire group of monsters so, armor down. You're also going to want to get a um, reduced response group. This will slow down the monsters so um, so that they won't attack first. And let's see. I, I don't know if I got anything else here. Flight back magic. No, you're not going to need this. Recover senses. There we go. Sleep. Ah. Yeah, you're going to probably want this. Okay, because the enemies inside the next dungeon do, can do... Um, an AOE attack which puts your party entire party to sleep and that is very annoying because unless you get condition green well you're done all right so you're also gonna want to get mm. now this one's interesting it'll it, it'll randomly cast an attribute field which will which will decrease the effectiveness of an elemental spell such as fire by 50% it's, it's random so it'll go either um, earth fire wind or air yeah i think this not actually wind yeah wind so yeah just keep that in mind it's pretty useful especially if you're fighting monsters who are elemental based and use elemental spells so there we go get this one just just for later also if you haven't also if you haven't make sure you have escape it'll make things so much easier um okay so this arms meister here ignore him for now you're not going to necessarily need to upgrade rudy's arms just yet you're gonna want to get rather get armor first and yeah okay so the armor you're gonna want to get is a protect cape you definitely want to make sure cecilia has it and as you can tell i am it's incredibly low on gela which is why i said to get which is why i showed you where the 1000 gela is all right another thing about this is you're gonna see chests scattered about the village unfortunately you cannot get them so don't even bother trying okay yep yeah, so yeah you can't get them now, once you find all your... Actually, I'll tell you what, what items are scattered around town. There's a magic carrot, a power apple, an agile apple, a crest graph, 1000 gala, and 350 gala. Yeah, and that, those are all the items that you'll get here. So, yeah, once you get all of that, make sure you go to the southwest of the village here. Go inside this house. Talk to this man here. 
According to my records, about 30% of our population has been abducted. Strangely enough, most of the abductees were found near the cage tower. If you dream chasers want to check out the tower in my place, I can give you the key that opens the sealed door. I have to stay at St. Centaur and protect the people here. Will you do it? Uh, of course we will. This is the key to the cage tower. Whatever you find in the tower is yours to keep. Thanks for your help. Alright. Please be careful. Perhaps your investigation will uncover some new clues. Alright, so um, you can talk to this diary here if you want and he'll just stop you. Basically just for fun. So anyways, yeah. Let me make sure I equip the protective. Okay. And you won't need a blue circlet anymore. Most, um... Yeah, you're just going to want to equip the mystic word now. And that is it for Saint Centaur. So let's just... Oh, You're going to probably want to save just because I told you the monsters are actually pretty hard. And you should be about level 11 or 12 in order to safely handle this dungeon as well as, I guess, properly equipped with the uh, more recent armor and weapons that are here. But you still should be fine if, even if you're not um, equipped. So anyways, the cage tower is to the east and to the north here. And there we go. And we'll continue heading into the cage tower. Now, just with any JRPG of the past, you're gonna you have to actually go into the inventory in order for your oops, in order for your item to work. So yeah, it's not automatic any, um, as it was back in the day. So let's go on in. You're gonna want to take the path on the left first. Hit the switch, of course. There we go. As you can see from the right, we just dropped the barrier. So we're gonna take the right staircase again. This time, instead of going to the right, we're gonna or, <laughs> we're gonna go to the left again. We're gonna skip this staircase, hit the switch, or get this um and treasure chest up here, which contains a crest, um, a, a glyph crest. <laughs> I can't believe what it's called. A crest graph. Sorry about that. Yeah. So um, a special note is to note that one of the monsters here can't put you sleep, and the monster's name is Decarabia. He is um. Basically, you want to take him out first, of course, because he does put you to sleep. And make sure you focus your attacks onto him. And you should be fine. Alright, so now that we've got this switch here. And head back down the staircase, back to originally where you started. So, got through there. Gonna head back to the right. Gonna head north again, or north this time. Try to avoid the wall. And yeah, don't hit the wall. So anyways, just keep going all the way across until you get to the staircase here. Now, um, basically, this was the hardest. This was literally the hardest part of the dungeon. So, yeah, it's easy, easy pickings from here. So, continue following the same path. There's literally only one path. Another note about the monsters is that the one you fight, that is, that is basically attributed to fire. He uses flame tongue. I'm gonna leave that one for you to figure out yourself because there's only, I believe, let's see, one, two, three, three, four, four different kinds of monsters in here. It is weak to, to um, ice, an ice element, which is your freeze spell. So I'm going to leave it to you to figure out which monster that it will actually basically crit hit against. So yeah, have fun with that. It's not hard. Hopefully you guys can figure it out. So anyways, um, you're going to come across these bridges. Don't worry about running at all. You just want to walk across. You have more than enough time to cross it. Yeah, there is no fear. No fear, guys. Stay on the, on the light side of the force. There we go, continue going, and then make sure you equip Rudy. Open up the chest, you get a round shield, and only Rudy can open up that kind of chest. Because, as you see, it contains an arm. So, Prism Arm. That's what this does, it hits an entire group of monsters, although it is weaker. Um, personally, I've never used it throughout my entire wall arms career. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, and you get a bullet clip out of it. So, you, you can just keep whoever you want on now, but if you... If you want, I would probably Cecilia, just in case you somehow screw up somewhere. So you're going to take the left path. Then you're going to want to go down, hit the switch. You're going to want to go up, right, down, hit the next switch. Um, yeah, left, up. Now, like I said, the first part was the hardest. This is probably the second hardest of the... Second hardest section of the dungeon. So, yeah. Um, yeah, just continue going. There's no, literally no stopping here. And this should be the last one, and then you're finally... Yeah, so continue going. Right, up, and yeah. Okay, this is the last section here. After this, we finally get some get a different um, type of area to go around in, and yeah, I will recommend the save because the boss, it's not for the boss, 
it's for basically the enemies you don't want to like die and have to do it all over again so yeah make sure safe okay now that you've done that continue down the path and we're falling somewhere different all right so there is a trick here it's not hard to fix oh damn okay don't do what i just did all right so head back down if you did that okay you want to take this this um sequence right right um staircase left staircase and then right staircase again the middle one is basically uh kind of a trick and you're gonna head up and around into here and there you go last section this is it take the goat or inside is goat uh, dolls what they do is when you equip them as an accessory i believe let's actually double check on that don't want to quote myself without being correct yeah as a left left hander thingy it will sacrifice itself to revive you so yeah i would keep it not use it now because it's kind of ridiculous to use it now so anyways um yeah head up and you're gonna be literally very very close to the boss now and head north this should we should be outside now oh okay i guess we're gonna be outside here hopefully oh my god come on <laughs> sorry this is very very long ah finally here we go now we're outside okay now here you're gonna want to heal up to the max of course this is where you're gonna fight the boss although not terribly hard and incredibly easy you're gonna want to use your agile apples if you're like me and have a choose and keep forgetting about using them and you can want to re re um rearm rudy's arm okay now that's all done also if you have a lucky card use it on the bosses and i recommend only using it on the bosses the extra experience and gilly you get from bosses is incredibly useful and if you know a duplication trick go crazy and use it in every single fight so let's uh continue you're gonna want to equip first equip the round shield someone should have it ah, here we are round shield on rudy what the? He still has nothing for his head. I'm a little surprised about that. Okay, Cecilia. Mm, yeah, we can keep that. Hard guard. Fire rune. Yeah. Alright, so now that we've done that, what you want to do is you want to head north. All the way, or climb up the ladder, not north. <laughs> Makes no sense. And for my geometrically inclined fellows, we are trapped in a prism. So you're the humans working for the guardians. You! That statue in the human town will be destroyed. I like Belsic. I don't like making a mess out of things. I'm going to need a few minutes to complete my experiments in town. Here, you guys can play with my friend. I promise you won't be disappointed. Alright then. So, here we go. Now, this is called the Night Gaunt. Um... He has, let's see, he has 7,000 HP. He'll give you 2,490 Gela. I mean, 2,490 experience and 3,500 Gela. Now, with the lucky card, you'll get, let's see, 5,980 experience and 7,000 Gela. Incredibly useful that lucky card is. And try to be at least level 12 when you fight him. But otherwise, even if you're level 11, you should still be able to, you know, kick his butt anyways so what you're going to start off doing is using rudy to his hand cannon um you're going to have jack use his meteor dive and you're going to have cecilia use armor down basically two times um now as for night gaunt his his attacks are incredibly weak most of the hill hit for is about 120 to 150 but yeah even for cecilia okay well maybe for cecilia he hits for 188 maybe i got a little mixed up there Okay, so he hits for under 200 um, HP, so yeah, not that hard. Just cast armor down twice, just to, yeah, reduce his armor by 100%. It'll, it'll help buff up, or it'll help Jack and Rudy hit much harder. And then you're also going to want to, oh, here's a Mysterious Ray. This is actually very weak. I'm actually a little surprised about that. But the good thing about it is that it raises Cecilia's force to basically level 1, like, she gets she gets there pretty quickly so meteor dive again mystic heal berry um nah not even not yet maybe next one okay so once you're done casting armor down cast reduce um response because if in the in the case of well in a situation where 
Cecilia needs to heal the entire party. You're gonna want her. You're gonna want her to be able to heal immediately rather than after thank god attacks. Just in case, like you your HP will get dropped to zero. Okay. So um, after you're done casting slow down on Night Gaunt, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to um, attack with your strongest attack spell, such as Break. It's actually pretty useful against this thing. Oh, yes. Meter Dive and Mystic and Heal Berry. Now, as of right now, Heal Berry is your, is your go-to healing item, just because everybody's HP can can be healed to about 50% of their total HP. You're going to start wanting to use heal berry or potion berries once you start getting to about 1500 to 2000 HP. It won't be long for you to get there, but yeah, just don't waste your potion berries just yet. Heal berries work perfectly fine. Okay, continue using hand cannon and meteor dive. And let's see. Slow down one more time. And oh yeah, also you can you can use Cecilia and summon Stoldark, but uh, don't expect it to hit for a thousand a thousand damage this time. Just because Nikon is obviously not weak against it. Yeah, as you can tell, Cecilia is most likely going to die if I don't heal her. So definitely need to heal her up. So hand cannon, accelerator. No, you don't need accelerator. If you've been casting slow down, you won't need accelerator. So just continue this meteor dive. Mm, do I need to heal? No. Yeah, you know, let's not waste it. There we go, Mystic. And as usual, I'm just gonna let the fight fights play out now, just because, um, just yeah, it may be rinse and repeat, but there might be certain situations where you will need to see something that happens, and it's better just to show you everything rather than show you bits and pieces, which is personally I find very annoying. So yeah, um, enjoy the rest of the battle, and hopefully you pick up some extra tips if you if I haven't already. Um, I haven't already told you about. this my friends is the end of the night gaunt so yeah hopefully he was as easy for you as he was for me oh <gasps> no oh you know i told you to cast lucky the lucky card well unfortunately i stupidly did not do it i only got 830 experience because i believe i'm about level 13 right now so yeah Ugh. but you did get your 3500 gala now if you remember you get you're gonna get 7000 gala if you cast the lucky card congrats to you guys who actually did The statue is in danger. We must get out of here. I wonder what Alazad meant by experiment. Can we do something about this barrier? Do you know of the Night Gaunt? Is it in this tower? Yes, I understand. So, this is the evil Night Gaunt? These people are just like us. They're bounty hunters. They apparently killed the Night Gaunt. Master, what should we do? Yeah, do something, will ya? So, you want to get out, huh? How much is it worth to you? You have my bounty and I need the cash. Money. You want money? We're trying to save the world and you're asking for money? Give me a break. I don't give a damn about what you're trying to save. All they care about is money. It's as simple as that. Damn it. How much do you want? Hmm. How about 2,000 gala? There's no way we can pay that much. Like I said, I really don't care. Do you want out or not? Ugh, man. If you have the 2,000 gala, you're unfortunately forced to pay it. Ugh. Sucks. If you don't, well, you actually will, no matter what. Just because of boss battle. So you're forced to pay it. She's a real... You know, bad word. <laughs> okay, that's more like it. Watch this. 
just like Rudy, she uses an arm. I'm Jane Maxwell. I'm known locally as the most beautiful woman here, next to my sister. She's known as Calamity Jane in some parts. This little girl is Calamity Jane? What's wrong with being a little girl? Don't tell me him. Don't tell them anything, McDullen. Excuse me. Where is my money? We had a deal, remember? Ugh, man, 2,000 gela. Not well wasted. A deal is a deal. Don't in don't hate me. See ya. Uh, seriously, what a turd. All right, guys. So it, right now, it's completely up to you if you want to stick around and do some gold farming here. Oh, not gold farming, but grinding for gold. If you want, um, the next town is gonna have a next the next set of armor and weapons that are actually much better than once here so if you want to do it go ahead otherwise use Cecilia cast your your most valuable spell escape I'm just gonna stick it on the bottom here Ooh, look at that I can actually um, put it all the way in the bottom here alright so there we go there we go although you don't necessarily need to um, need to arrange it just because it's a turn-based battle system so no need it's not active active turn battles yeah that's it so yeah, uh, yeah, exit and head back to St. Centaur. Do, 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 do. The music is very nice. Um, personally, I'm a fan of whistling to make music, so maybe that's why I like it. It reminds me of whistling. Alright, so first off, first off, first off, save. Trust me, you're gonna want to... Oh, okay. Um, yeah, empty beds, go crazy. I... She probably should have checked this out before I wasted my heal berries. But anyways, as you know, there is nobody watching the chests anywhere. Town is completely deserted. And you're um you're free to take whatever the heck you want. So we're gonna actually we're gonna first check out the statue first. We're gonna continue with storyline. Alright, so here we go. The statue is speaking directly into my mind. I am the sacred spirit, Eon Pawa. My powers are weakening. Take what I have left and use it against the demons. Saint Rune. Alright, another piece of the Demon Queen's heart has been released. There's only one left. Let's hurry to the town of Timney. We must reclaim the teardrop before they use it to wake their queen. The entire town is empty. Everyone just disappeared. The demons must have done this. All this just to get at the statue. Now, um, Rudy, I believe this is the Saint Rune was good for... Oh, shoot, it's, it's good for Jack, alright. So as you can see, it buffs him up even more, so he's getting a real, he's going to turn into a real powerhouse soon. Alright, so, now that that's just done, if you don't care about the chest, which I recommend you do actually care about the chest, because the chest have, has a lot of good stuff, you're going to want to scatter yourself around, no, not scatter, but run around town, picking up all the items you missed, but now, um, if you didn't pick it up the first time, the, when the town was populated, then you're now going to be... Um, being attacked you're going to be attacked by monsters essentially that's what's going to happen so i would yeah i would just get get the chests and continue on so we're going to get the chest okay so we're going to go down and and while there's only one person left here i believe it yes it's the blind girl i don't understand how she's still here um yeah so strange energy surrounding sense yeah i believe it's it probably had something to do with sight that's how all the all the people were taking all that stuff also the diary here is now free to be read so yeah you can read the last entry as i lie here wounded i know that my time remaining here is not long the monsters appeared all of a sudden out of nowhere the dimensional protection seal not operate the monsters numbers increased as the people watched in horror those bastards went straight for the statue they destroyed the statue and then turned on the people is it true that a piece of the heart of the demon queen was sealed in that statue so now you know what he said and yeah, so we're gonna get to chess and we'll show you what's all in them. This should be an Ambrosia. Yeah, okay, so I honestly have no idea what that does, so we're gonna check. Recover status and max HP all. Okay, so basically an elixir. Very nice. So there should be another chest to the right and to the south here. Oops, and in the pub, yes, here we go. So there should be three treasure chests here. So let's get them all. Um, secret sign. Reduce your fast draw. No, reduce your fast. Yeah, fast draw MP usage by one. Potion berry and potion berry. Now remember, save your potions berries until you have about 1,500 to 2,000 HP. It um, it will. S you'll save quite a bit of um, potion berries throughout your time as you level up, and you're gonna want to continually do that so that you don't actually waste it all. Which is just me talking circles. 
Yeah. So here's another chest for you guys. There we go. Free lucky card. And there's one to above here where the dog used to guard. That was a bone. Unfortunately, I have no idea what the bone does. Uh, where is it? Ah, here it is. Yeah, even they don't know what it does. So also, you're going to notice that there's no merchants what anywhere. So unfortunately, if you haven't done so already, you're going to have to wait to get to Port Timney before you can do anything. Yeah, so... No, not to... Wait, I think there's something in here. Yes, okay, so this is where the hardy apple is. I'm not actually trying to get these items. I'm just... If I happen to come beside them, then yeah. Congratulations, you just know where they are now. So, um, yeah. What I do as before, power apple to Jack, hardy apple to Rudy. Because I want Rudy to be badass. Alright, so this is um, easy enough. Either take the right or left, but if you go my way, you're going to take um, both of them. Up, up, and right. There you go. Now there's one here. There is one item here called the duplicator, which is a serious pain in the ass to get, and I'll show you, show you why. It's not the puzzle that's hard. It's um, pretty much the positioning of what you need to do, and I'll show you. So, push this one all the way to the top, push it all the way to the left. Now, you're going to want to be careful here, you're going to want to just push it slightly like that. Otherwise, because if you push it just a little bit too much, you will not be able to get this duplicator. Now, duplicator is in incredibly useful. It'll, it's a spare key designed by magic. It'll open up um, any magical door, I believe. If I remember correctly, oh, I probably, I probably should have came here first. The man who was guarding this actually tells you what it does and I you guys could probably could have got a bit got a better definition from him. But anyways, that is all the um, Oh just secret sign. Did I get secret sign? Well I hope I got the secret sign. Okay, if I didn't get secret sign just look around for it. And that is actually the only other item that you can get from here. So now that you're done that, you can do it do an easy peasy and have Cecilia cast her watch here. No shoot. Okay. So a, qu a quick trick is if you actually use Cecilia's watch, you'll end up in the last in the last area. No, not um, in the in the entrance that you use to enter the area. Such as if I entered from the beginning of town and then I went to the end of town and used the watch, I would end up back at the beginning of town. But because I entered the door that um, brought me the duplicator and I exited that door, when I used the watch, I I actually teleported back to that door. So it's not. Ugh, I totally forgot about that. So anyways, now you've got that done. Talk to the birdie. And save. And yeah, you're just going to head back out. Head back out, and you'll see a scene with Mother. I can hear the voice of pain. The voice of sadness. I can feel the screams of the human fowls releasing me from these cursed chains. We are almost there. Vilgaia is practically ours. I'm still concerned about the humans who contacted the guardians. You screwed up again, not once, but twice. I think these humans are too much for you to handle. Why don't you let me take care of them? I'm sure I can accommodate, accommodate them. Damn you. Rah! Just you wait. Stop it, Belsec. She's right, you know. The elves and the humans have shown abnormal abilities when pushed into a corner. We cannot afford any mistakes until the revival of our photosphere and Lord Mother is completed. Not you too, Zeke. I'll show you. I'll show you everyone what Belsec can do. Or bring the heads of those humans and line them up right here. Guardians or not, they are history. Oh, that temperamental Belsec. You have such a temper, my fellow Duke. Here, let me see what I can do. All oh, those fools. Rash, rash villains. That They're the ones who always die first. Do what you like. It's been 1,000 years since we came here. The loss of our homeworld, Hyades. We came to this planet to make it our home. Power rules all. This place will belong to us. Only then will we. Okay. Oh, look, it's hatching. So anyways, guys, now you know the demons are not from Vilgaia. They're actually from um, an extraterrestrial world. Rather interesting. And their homeworld was destroyed. So anyways, you're going to continue to head east to the next um, Elba Pyramid. But actually, if you take a look at here, there is a merchant. Coolio, eh? So anyways, if you need to stock up, go crazy and stock up. Otherwise, head into Elba Pyramid and we'll tra transport ourselves into at, uh, to Port Timney. 
go left, go up, go right, go up, go left, and yeah, you're not. The tool you're gonna need is Jack's, I believe, third tool. Once you get his third tool, it's basically um, something something, and you're gonna be able to do something to the other side. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell you anything else. <laughs> so yeah, use the portal or teleporter and have another trippy star receive. This land contains a lightning statue, which seals the evil heart. All right, so now we have to now we have to um, get the lightning statue, which is actually most likely for Cecilia here. And as you can tell, there is a, quite a bit more of these uh, columns here. So you're definitely most likely we're gonna get Jack's third tool, which will be used for that. Okay, so Port Timney here is to the west. So just continue following the path. And you see a lot more of those uh, carts lying around. Here we go. Danger Mansion Desert. You'll be eaten alive. Okay, then. Well, we're going to hang out here in Port Timney. So, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. And come back next time to watch the continuation of Wild Arms.